Hello, in this video I'm going to solve the following problem for you. This is a problem on the topic of exponential equations. If 3 to the 4 to the x times 3 to the 4 to the x plus 1 times 3 to the 4 to the x plus 2 times 3 to the 4 to the x plus 3 equals to 81 to the power of 1360 then what is the exact value of x? That would be a good idea if you pause the video at this point and try to solve the problem yourself first. If you do your calculations correctly, the answer that you will get for x is x equals to 3. If you are interested in more problems of this type, you can follow this playlist. The PDF file, a link to this PDF file, you can find in the description below this video. Okay, now let us try to solve the problem. So the important thing here, the point of this question is something that I want to describe here. So if I write a to the power of m to the power of n, and if I write a to the power of m to the power of n. Here, in the first one, if I ask you what is the base, you should tell a to power m. And if I ask you what is the exponent, you should tell me n. But here, if I ask you the same question, if I ask you what is the base in this case, you will tell me a. And if I ask you what is the exponent in this case, you will tell me m to the n. So that's actually the important point here. So to understand this notation a little bit better, so let me give you an example. If I write 5 to the power of 3 to the power of 20, and if I ask you to multiply it by 5 to the power of 3, to the power of say 50, then what can we do? Here, what do I have? I have the product of two powers whose bases are both equal to 5 and the exponents are different. So do you remember a rule like this in powers? Yes. What was that rule? The rule is that if I have a to power m multiplied by a to power n, I can write a to power m plus n. As I mentioned you in the lesson, behind every formula in math, there is a message. So you should know the message. What is the message here? The message is that if I have two powers with the same bases and I want to multiply them, then I can write the same base and add the exponents. Do you think this formula is applicable for this case? Let us review again. What is this? This is a power. What is this? This is also a power. Are the bases the same? Yes, because according to the answer that you gave here, you know that this number a is the base. So if I ask you what the base is, you will tell me 5. And if I ask you what the base is here, you will also tell me 5. So what I'm doing, I am multiplying two powers with the same bases. What is the rule? The rule tells me write the base and add the exponents. So I will do the same. So in order to solve this, I write the base and I add the exponents. This is what we can just write. Okay? So if you have a good understanding of what I did for this example, then you can come back here and solve this problem. How? Because you see what I am doing here. I am multiplying a bunch of powers. Yes? But what is the base of this power? It is 3. What is the exponent is 4 to the x. This one. What is the base? Again, 3. What is the exponent? 4 to the x plus 1. 
So this is indeed a power whose exponent is another power. Okay? And the same is true for this one, and the same is true for this one. So I am multiplying four powers with the base 3, the same base 3, and different exponents. So the left-hand side can be written simply as 1, 3, then I have to add the exponents. The exponent of the first one is 4 to the x. The exponent of the second one is 4 to the x plus 1. The exponent of the third one is 4 to the x plus 2. And finally, the exponent of the last one is 4 to the x plus 3. And I copy and paste the right-hand side for the time being. 81 to the power of 1360. Okay, but now look, the exponent of it, try to, in this, try to visualize it in this way, okay? So, try not to see this, so I don't know, let me, for example, clean it for you. Let's try not to see this, and not to see this. What do you see? You see this expression. Is this expression simple to calculate? Yes. See, we have a lot of experience of calculating these expressions, these type of expressions in the lesson. So what do we do? I will do something that the exponents become the same. So that's important. That's a skill that you have to learn. This part of it is something that you already know. So it means that let us do this one and bring it back here. Okay? So let me put everything in order. So my question is that, can I calculate this? Let me change my color, for example. I concentrate on calculating this expression, which is the exponent for the time being. But we have enough experience of that, yes. So what I do, I will write 4 to the x. But the next one, I write 4 times 4 to the x. For the other one, I write 4 to the 2 times 4 to the x. And finally, for the last one, I write 4 to the 3, 4 to the x. Yes? Okay, but let me simplify it a little bit more so it becomes 4 to the x plus 4 times 4 to the x. But 4 to power 2 is 16, so it becomes 16, 4 to the x. 4 to power 3 is 64 times 4 to the x. So do you remember we had in the lesson, if I consider this the box, that is also the box, that is also the box, and that's also the box. So I have 64 boxes, 16 more boxes, it is 80 boxes, 84 boxes, and finally one box, it is 85 boxes. So it is 85 times 4 to the x. Okay? So that is the skill that I want you to learn. Okay, so we were able to reduce this problem to a problem of this type using this understanding and this rule. And then immediately we become familiar with this type of expressions from past experience. And this would be nothing for us to do. We simplify it and we get this is 85 times 4 to the x. So what I should do? Now I go back to this problem. I copy and paste 3 for the time being. So let me change my color again. So I would write 3. But what can I write instead of this? I can just simply put this expression. Okay, so I will write it 85 times 4 to the x. And on the right hand side, now you have enough experience. This is 81, this is 3. I want to compare them, so it is better to write it as 3 to power 4, yes. And then 3 to the power of 4 to the power of 13, uh, 100, 1360, yes. But we know another rule of powers. What is the other rule? The other rule is that if I have a to the power of m, then to power n, I can write it as a to the power of m times n. So I will also do this. I should multiply it. But don't bother to multiply them, really. You can just juxtapose them. For example, I can write 3 to the power of 85 times 4 to the x equals to 3 to the power of 4 times 1360. Now what do I have? I have one power on the left, I have one power on the right. The bases are the same and these powers are supposed to be equal. 
This cannot happen unless the exponent of the left hand side and the exponent of the right hand side be equal. So from here I can conclude that 85 times 4 to the x is equal to 4 times this number. But I divide everything by 85 so 4 to the x becomes 4 times this number. Okay? And if you calculate this number, for example, using your calculator or simplifying these two, for example, by 5, if I simplify this by 5, it becomes 17 times. If I simplify this by 5, 1000 by 5 is 200, 300 by 5 is 60, so 260, and this is 12, so 272. Okay, and then of course, 17 to 17 one times this to 17 16 times okay so you don't need to bother yourself here you can just calculate it using the calculator okay so then what happens 4 times 16 becomes 64 but what is 64 64 is 4 to power 3 yes now look 4 to power x is equal to 4 to power 3 so what is your x then your x is equal to 3 as the problem claimed. Okay? So, uh, I hope that this video was useful for you. Until the next video, be safe and goodbye. Thank you.